Okay, so we just got our spawn points in, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get our lighting correctly on our map so we can run it. What you need is you're going to need what's called a light grid. The light grid spans just on the exact field of the skybox, so it has to be touching the skybox on every single plane. And drag it over like this. And it needs to encompass your entire map. The entire map needs to be encompassed by the light grid. So once you have encompassed it, you go back here, you go to textures, usage, tools, and then you search the tools for light grid volume. Click on that. And that's all you need to do is just click on light grid volume and you're done. Nothing else that you need to do with that. Now, next thing you need to do is you need to bring up your entities menu, hit N. On your keyboard, bring up your entities menu. It should already select world spawn. And here you need to enter in all the world spawn settings for your map, all the lighting settings and everything. So you enter in the key and then you enter in the value for that key. And so right here, the class name is key, that's class name, and then value is world spawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in all the things and then uh, you can find different types of values for this on modsonline.com and I've got it right here let me get this out of the way this is modsonline.com I come here every time I have a question about things they have a great forms uh, area and they have great tutorials and in the tutorials they have all their world spawn settings for every single map in Call of Duty 4 and so I'm gonna have that on the right side of the in, embedded in the script I'm gonna have the link that way you can easily go to it when you're watching my video. So let me just input those things real quick. Okay, so what I just did is I have entered in all of the different world spawn settings from mozonline.com. I chose backlot for the base for the world spawn settings that we're gonna use. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna close out the entity and just if you want you can copy it and copy down everything I have here or you can go to modsonline.com and find backlot and then copy them over that way but from what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually change our I'm gonna change our skybox to backlot that way because the skybox is different from our world spawn settings that we just chose so I'm gonna choose that real quick so get that textures usage sky and then we're gonna go to backlot there you are okay so now we're on backlot check it okay so that's basically when it comes to world spawn settings now what you're gonna need to do is from there okay so from here once you get that one finished, once you get all of that, all the world spawn settings in, all you need to do is just save, exit out, go to your compile tools, and go to level compiling. And in the next video, I'll show you how to compile your map.